Hello student, today we are going to start our chapter number 3, the river valley civilization. Subtopic, Indus valley civilization. So, in our river valley civilization, in today's chapter we are going to study about Indus valley civilization. So, first we talk about meaning of civilization. Civilization is generally defined as an advanced state of human society containing highly developed forms of government. Means a civilization is generally defined as a state of human society where a human society is controlled or developed form of government, culture, industry and common social norms are practiced here. The word civilization has been derived from the Latin word civilis, which means civil. So now let's talk about the characteristics of the of a civilization. What are the characteristics of a civilization? Some of the most common characteristics of the civilization includes first presence of urban centers, towns and cities. Second, the agriculture revolution and storage for future livelihood means they have agriculture revolution. They agriculture they, uh, they agri they use agriculture. They practice agriculture to grow crops and storage for their future livelihood. Third characteristics of civilization is special craft and skills. They have special craft and skills, language and script, standard of measurement for the exchange of goods. They have a particular standard for the measurement of exchange of goods, craftsmanship for building complex structure, tools and arts, social satisfaction, different classes of people and their culture, Gorn governing bodies and laws, common religion and ideological beliefs are comes under the characteristics of the civilization. Reasons for settlement near rivers. What are the reasons for the settlements near the river? There are many reasons for the development of the civilization near the rivers. The land is very fertile to grow various crops. First, the Point. First point is the land is very fertile near the river to grow various types of crops. The water for irrigation and daily purpose is easily available in excess in plenty. It means how many water is needed they easily get from the rivers. Therefore, it could support large settlements. So, large number of people settle there. Rivers were important means of transportation because long road did not exist. They don't have the long road. That's why they use rivers to travel long distance. It provided protection from the enemies and where they live in the herds in the groups. So that's why uh, the living near the rivers help them from protection from their enemies like animals etc. Period. The Indus Valley Civilization is named after the Indus River System. First, they called the Indus River System. That after that, it is called Indus Valley Civilization. It is also known as the Harappan Civilization. The Indus Valley Civilization, also known as the Harappan Civilization, it was the earliest civilization of the India. It is the first. We can say that it is the first or the earliest civilization of the India, which ex, which existed during the Calcolithic age and the Bronze Age. It is, this age uh, exists between the uh, during the Calcolithic age and the Bronze Age from about 2500 BC to 1500 BC. However, the fact this fact came to the view of the world much later. After so many years, the world uh, briefly get that fact only after the discovery made in 1921 and 1922 after the discovery 
which they uh, come to know about their civilization in 1921 or 22. Prior to that, it is believed that the Aryan civilization was the earliest civilization of the India. But the two discoveries reveal that the Indus Valley civilization existed in India before the advent of the Aryans. Before advent uh, of the Aryans, that civilization already occurs. So, what are the sources? Sources of Indus Valley civilization. We came to know about the Indus Valley civilization from archaeological excavations inscriptions and official documents all these have helped in the recognition reco uh, sorry reconstructions of the indus valley civilization the reunes granary and the great bath ornaments pots statues and seals are the main sources from that we come to know about the indus valley civilization about the civilization the First discovery. So the first discovery of Indus Valley civilization was made by the Indian archaeologist Dayaram Sahani in 1921. He found some ancient ruins belonging to the Harappan civilization on the bank of the river Ravi in the province of the West Punjab. Now that's area in Pakistan. Second discovery was made in 1922 by the another archaeological officer Rakhal Das Banerjee who discovered the city of Mohanjadaro mounted of the dead mount of the dead in the Larkana district of Sindh that place also now in Pakistan Harappan Harappa was the first city to be discovered in the Mon to go marry district in in Pakistan on the bank of the river Ravi therefore this civilization was also known as the Harappan civilization so that civilization is called the Harappan civilization Harappa and Mohenjo-daro are considered as the most important city in the Indus Valley civilization these two cities are situated at the distance of about 681.4 km from each other Situated on the bank of the river Ravi, the city of Harappa covered a much wider area of about 2.5 square kilometer as compared to the rather smaller site of the Mohanjodaro. Notably, Mohanjodaro had all the features of Indus Valley civilization, which was discovered later in the northwestern part of the India. Its seven towns layer suggested that it has the rebuilt seven times. Means that city is rebuilt seven times. Not one, not two. Seven times that city is rebuilt. After these two important discoveries were made for many, for many years, it was believed that the Indus Valley Civilization was confined to the valley of Indus River and its tributaries. However, later excavation revealed that this civilization actually extended to many parts of the north as well as the western India. The later discovery proved that the Indus Valley civilization is the largest of all river valley civilization which flourished during the Bronze Age and spread over an area of about 12,99,600 square Kilometer around 2800 sites have been discovered so which have revealed that the Indus Valley civilization covered many parts of the Punjab, Sindh, Baluchistan, Gujarat, Rajasthan, and fringe of Uttar Pradesh and extended from Jammu to Narmada, essentially from north to south, and Makran coast of. Balochistan to Meerut, Alamgir, Pur from west to north east. Some major sites belong to Indus Valley Civilization were, which were revealed during later excavation are Amri in Pakistan, 
मेरगर इन बलूचिस्तान छानू दारू एलोंग इंडस रिवर इन सिंध रोपर इन पंजाब नाल रामपुर कालीबंगन ऑन घाघर रिवर इन राजस्थान लोथल अपॉर्ट टाउन इन गुजरात हस्तिनापुर इन यूपी बानावाली इन हरियाणा राखी घड़ी इन हरियाणा गानेरी वाल, वाला इन बहावलपुर एंड सुरका सुरको ताडो एंड ढोलावीरा इन गुजरात ऑन गोइंग एक्सवेशन एट द साइट लाइक मेहरगढ़ इन पाकिस्तान रिवील दैट द इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन इवॉल्व ग्रेजुअली फ्रॉम विलेज कम्युनिटीज अराउंड सेवन थाउजेंड बी सी टू फाइव थाउजेंड बी सी एंड रीच अ हाईली डेवलप फ्रेज फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड बी सी टू नाइनटीन हंड्रेड बी सी मोस्ट ऑफ द डिस्कवरी साइट हैव रिवील द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ द विलेज इन दो टाइम विद ओनली अ फ्यू लार्ज सिटीज द विलेज ऑफ इंडस वैली कवर्ड एन एरिया ऑफ अबाउट एट हेक्टेयर्स while cities are spread over an area of about more than 32 hectares so that's all from this class students if you have any problem regarding this chapter you can ask me in our next class we are we will discuss about the characteristics of the indus valley civilization so student you have to read the chapter twice at your home and if you have any problem you can can ask me Thank you thank you for listening thank you students